Hey, Walking Dead fans, this is going to be a part two video to what they did before the outbreak. What were their jobs and what were they doing before the outbreak? And if you missed the first video in this series, you can check it out. It covers seasons one through four. Don't forget to check out the rest of the channel and don't forget to subscribe and hit the update button. But starting with season five, let's jump right into the video and start with Aaron. Aaron was in the comics as well as the show and in both there were similarities, but in the comics, we just don't know his background. But we do know he was probably living around the Alexandria area in the show he was living in Washington, D.C. And in both the comic and the show, he had a boyfriend, Eric. But the show definitely has a more extensive background to Aaron. Him and Eric was living in Washington, D.C. And both were kind of into politics. And Aaron has a cool background as far as he was a non-government uh, organization type worker and he was giving food and supplies to needy people in these third world countries and stuff. And in the process, he had to cover dangerous territory. He had to talk to warlords and dangerous people and things like that in these countries and deal with these things and trying to get supplies and medical uh, help to people. And so all of this experience is what uh, gave uh, Deanna Monroe... Uh, we'll go over her here in just a second. She was a leader of Alexandria. She was a congresswoman. And she tasked Aaron and Eric to go out and recruit people for the community. And the main reason is their background. It said that Aaron and Eric was sent by the military to this Alexandria safe zone that they were trying to create. And Deanna was sent there as well. And a lot of these people were sent there and said, just hold up there. And we will come and get you. But of course the military never came. And so they they built the walls. And they just made a safe zone for themselves. And that takes us to Deanna Monroe. The leader of uh, the Alexandria safe zone. When we come in on it. And she of course was a congresswoman in Ohio. And in one of the episodes she said she played poker a lot. And that if she hadn't won the re-election to be congresswoman of Ohio again she might have become a professional poker player. And it's a contrast from the character in the comic who was a guy, Douglas Monroe. And as far as the kids go, there was a Spencer in the comics. In the show, there was a Spencer and an Aiden, and we just don't know their backgrounds. And remember Denise? Denise was going to medical school. She wanted to be a surgeon, but she had this high anxiety problem, and so that made her turn her studies to psychiatry. And then we have Negan. Negan was a high school coach, like a PE teacher. And I did a video on his backstory. I'll put that link in the description below. And there have been some rumors that he was also a used car salesman, but I actually have not ever seen any proof of that. If anyone can provide a link to somewhere he said that in the show or the comic or something, you know, then I'll definitely go with it from that point on. So what about Dwight? We don't really know a lot about Dwight, and in the show I don't think it's been told what his background actually was. We only know that, you know, that he was married to Sherry and there was Sherry's sister. In the comic he was a soldier, and I think that could be his background for the TV show as well. And then there's Simon, and we don't know a lot about Simon's life before, but we do know that he sold subprime mortgages. To unsuspecting customers, and you know, uh, now that we know Simon, that, that sounds about right. And Ezekiel. Ezekiel had a theater background in both the comic and the show, and he also had his tiger. In the comic, I think it's believed he knew Shiva since she was born, but as a zookeeper in the show, the tiger fell into a concrete moat and hurt its leg, ripped it open, and he's the one that fixed her up. And so the tiger kind of formed a bond with him since then. And then we got the garbage lady Jadis, or Anne as we now know her. She flew away with Rick on the helicopter, so her story still has some story left to tell. But the only thing we really know about her past is that she was a teacher, probably art teacher. How do you know I find seats here? Brought my class. Back when I was teaching. And Sadiq. Sadiq enrolled into medical school and was employed as a second year emergency resident. It is believed that he lived in Virginia. In the comic, Sadiq's background was a little bit different. He came from Miami, Florida. And as he made his way up the coast, he found the community of Oceanside. And from there, Sadiq gets with Michonne and some others and they go out on a boat for a little while. 
And after that little adventure, Michonne points Sadiq toward Alexandria. And moving on to Magna and her group. You know, Magna, we don't actually know a lot about her past, or in the comics anyway. Uh, we do know she's like a Greek-American. She has a Greek background of some kind in the comic. I'm not sure about in the show. Her actress that plays Magna is German. But anyway, Magna, as far as we know from the show, about the only tidbits we've gotten is that she worked at a truck stop. She was a waitress, if that's uh, true. But she was in prison, as was pointed out by Michonne. And her partner, Yumiko, we don't know a lot about her either. We do know because of her accent, she does sound like she's British, and she is British in real life, the actress. But in the show, we don't know if she's from England. And as far as Luke goes, in the TV show, we learned he was a music teacher. And I'm not sure if he worked as a chef or had that experience somehow, but he enjoyed cooking, he let us know. I dabble in the culinary arts uh, once upon a time ago, and a little bit of help, I can help whip this buck into a mighty fine osabuco. But the Luke in the comics never revealed his background, I don't think. And as far as Connie and Kelly, Kelly, of course, was in school, but Connie, um, as far as we can understand, she may have been a journalist, and not just a journalist, but um, a controversial journalist that uh, went against some politicians or judges or something like that with her writing. And as far as the comic version of Connie, we don't know about her background at all. All right, but this will wrap up this video. I wanted to throw out some names like Jesus, Gregory, Noah, Alden, Jerry, Diane. Those are just some of the names that we just don't know or have any information on what they did before the outbreak. Some people, of course, we can guess on some stuff like Alden. He was in uh, the Savior community. He was kind of like a construction guy, carpenter type person. And, you know, he walked up to Maggie and said, hey, I've been looking through that book, Key to Our Future. And, you know, I build things. That's what I do. Let me help you. Let me be a part of this Hilltop community. And Maggie accepted. So he, should, he must have some type of construction or carpentry background. So sometimes we can deduce from the show or some things they say or what they're doing. But for a lot of them, we just don't know. And the current villains, Alpha and Beta, we don't know their backgrounds either. Uh, we do know Beta's background now from the comic, but I won't spoil that here in case it's different in the show. We'll talk about that later in another video. But if you have any questions about characters, just put them in the comments below and we'll try to answer it, either myself or some of the other fans. Definitely check out the rest of the channel. And don't forget to hit that notif- As always, thanks for watching. And stay tuned for more dead stuff. Tuned for more dead stuff.